guys it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel in the last video we talked about moringa powder and all these wonderful benefits for hair and scalp we used it to make a moringa infused oil as well as a moringa hair butter so once again we'll be using the moringa powder to test out a new product I want to make a scalp treatment scalp balm using the moringa infused oil i'll also be pairing it with some unique beautiful butters from alls of organics as well as a new vegetable wax um, which you guys may have heard of we will talk about it more also there will be a giveaway at the end of this video so make sure you stay tuned and thank alls of organics once again for sponsoring this video it means so much to me and i'm really excited to get into this video in the previous video we talked about butters that you guys were more familiar with but now I want to introduce you to some butters you're probably not so familiar with but I promise you you will love them the first being Kapawashi butter this is a really unique butter but it's very similar to shea butter so if you're looking for a great substitute for shea butter that's a little less greasy but has a similar texture Kapawashi butter is definitely the one to go for it does have a recognizable nutty aroma to it but not as strong as shea butter definitely more um, mild and you might like this compared to shea butter so I, I definitely think you should give it a try Kapawachi butter is a semi soft butter so it really does hold up well as far as giving your end product a little bit more texture and stability um, but as you can see instantly you can smush it in your hands and it melts with skin contact so it's very similar to shea butter Next up is Murmur Butter. You guys have seen me use this before, but you might still be a little unfamiliar with it. It has this really glossy like uh, texture to it and, and feel to it. Both the Kapawachu Butter and Murmur Butter are unrefined, but the Murmur Butter is odorless. So it is one of those butters that you can play around a little bit with when it comes to adding other scents. It works really well with that. Um, compared to the Kapawachu Butter, you can see that it's definitely lighter. It's more of that really light pale yellow or ivory color um, so you can also keep that in mind depending on what type of product you're making as well last but not least is my favorite one of my favorites kokum butter kokum butter is one of the hardest butters out there especially compared to mirror mirror butter and kopawacha butter which are more on the semi soft side it, kokum butter is definitely on the harder side so it's going to really give your product some stability and a little bit more texture so when making something like a scalp balm i would recommend using less of a hard butter because you don't want your end product to be too brittle and too hard where you can't um, put your hands through so that's just a quick little comparison between those butters Next up is Candelil Wax. This is a vegetable wax and it can be used as, substitute, as a substitute for beeswax. It does not have the same texture as beeswax so don't think it's going to give you that same exact feel. It's a little less sticky and a lot smoother and softer um, product than beeswax. Beeswax holds its shape a little bit more and it can stay on the skin readily whereas Candelil will probably absorb a lot faster in the skin. Okay, um, Candelil Wax is very brittle um, but once she melt it down is really soft use this wax when you want a vegan option and also use this product if you need a little bit more stability to your lotions or your butters or your bombs you need something to help thicken it or make it a little harder or a little bit more stiffer then you might want to try candelil wax i'm still testing and playing around with candelil wax to get the perfect texture but i really do like how the end result came out so right now I'm just going to be using some hot water to melt down my butters and my wax. Um, I will be using a water bath on the stove in order to melt down the candelier wax and the butters. Um, because just putting it in the bowl is just not enough for it to melt down or it's just very very slow. But the reason why I poured the hot water anyway is because in between time the candelier wax re-solidifies so fast you guys like super super fast so um i wanted to keep it in the hot water in order to make sure that it stayed melted it kind of helped a little bit but not really as you guys will see as i start to add the other butters i'm adding the cup of wachu butter then i'm going to add the murmur butter and then the coconut butter uh, once i add all the butters in with the candelier wax uh 
it instantly starts to cool down and it just starts to re-solidify. So I put it back in the water bath and I also transferred it over into a new beaker um, so it'll be easier to melt down, okay? So while that's melting down, I'm gonna go ahead and pour my Moringa infused oil into a container. Um, if you guys would like to know exactly how I made this using some amazing oils from Oz of Organics, please click the link up above. That'll take you to the video that'll show you exactly how I made this Moringa infused oil. This is the way I will incorporate the benefits of the Moringa powder for hair and scalp into my Moringa scalp treatment or butter, okay? So go ahead and get the container you would like to use because the next part is gonna go really, really fast, okay? And you need to put this in the container right away. Um, so I went on and added the Moringa infused oil to the melted butters and wax. And as you can see, as soon as that cool oil touched that candlelit wax, it started to re-solidify immediately. So um, like I said, I put it into a beaker and I put it back on the stove to heat back up. And then I instantly poured it into the container. So you want to go ahead and already have your container ready because if you don't, it's going to re-solidify so fast. You're going to have to keep melting it. But once it has melted, go ahead and pour it right into your container. I filled it all the way to the top and it looks beautiful. I just love how dark and rich this looks. It's just such a beautiful color. I really, really love it. And I'm also going to be putting it in a tin because I wanted to also see how well it will work in a... Uh, different containers as well and then I also had a little extra leftover so um yeah I use this really cute little tin that has a little peekaboo window to it so it's a really cute way to display this beautiful color of this uh scalp butter this um scalp treatment so so once your butter is in this container go ahead and let it cool down you can place it in the refrigerator to cool down faster or into a ice water bath um the reason to do this is because uh the different butters that we use have different melting points. Um, so it, it just helps to cut down on greediness and just to have a smoother product. But honestly, I don't mind leaving it out at room temperature. is a lot easier sometimes. And it also gives me a feel of just like what it's going to be like at room temperature at, as well, like the final product. But honestly, look how dark and rich this is. You guys, this is stunning. I am obsessed with it. <laughs> and yes, I still want to play around with um, some ratios in the candlelit wax a little bit more but honestly I love this texture it absorbs super fast in the skin it's not super greasy and I definitely will love this product for my scalp and I'm excited excited to really really um, explore with this a little bit more add some other essential oils like tea tree oil maybe some rosemary essential oil and some other uh, oils that are really really good for the scalp so um, this is definitely just like the base Base product you can definitely add to it or take away as you please but let me know what you guys think about this leave a comment down below I really would like to hear your thoughts especially on the color and the texture of this you guys so I really do hope you enjoyed this video I know I did I'm really loving this moringa powder and I'm also loving this candlelit wax just look at this beautiful beautiful texture okay definitely thank Oz Love Organics once again for sponsoring this video it is just so wonderful to be able to create and make beautiful products using such high quality ingredients and now you guys thanks to Oz Love Organics have a chance to use these ingredients as well to make your own products so check the description box down below for your chance to enter for the giveaway to win all of these butters here and I know you guys will love it you're gonna love them so go ahead and enter down below check the description box to see exactly how you can enter the giveaway make sure you like subscribe hit the notification bell because it's the only 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 way you can keep up with the videos I'm coming out with I have more coming for you guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye Bye.